Hey all you Switch fans, welcome back to the channel. We have another great eShop deals video coming up for you. I got about 25 games in this list, plus a few bonus deals, so get comfortable. I think you're gonna enjoy these selections. So just a little bit of house cleaning first. There's a few publishers that have sales going on that I just wanted to point out real quick. First of all, all the SteamWorld games are on sale. You know that I'm a huge fan of this entire series with SteamWorld Dig 2 being one of my favorite all-time Metroidvanias. So definitely wanna mention those real quick, but we'll not dwell on those a lot because I do talk about them a lot. Also, Team 17 has another big eShop sale. They are not strangers. They frequently put their games on sale. Pretty much all their prices are matching their previous low. No all-time new low prices, so I decided not to choose any particular games to highlight. But again, lots of great choices. Overcooked 2, both the ukulele games. Uh, Blasphemous, Yoku's Island Express, Moving Out, which is one of my favorite little underrated couch co-op party games going under, which is a really great underrated action roguelike. The list goes on and on. Team 17 just has a plethora of great options, and they're all really cheap right now. And of course, we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild hitting $40 on the eShop. That is 33% off. Great deal. If you, for some crazy reason you haven't picked it up yet, now is the time. But you can also get the bundle, which includes the DLC for $53.98 instead of $80 normally. That is 33% off. Or you can buy the expansion pass on sale right now by itself, which that is actually a very rare deal. It's only gone on sale a couple of other times. So right now that is $13.99, 30% off. I actually think I'm going to pick that up on this sale. This is one of those things where I just haven't gone back to Breath of the Wild in a long time. I definitely want to try out that expansion pass before Tears of the Kingdom comes out because once Tears of the Kingdom comes out, I don't know how often I'll be going back to Breath of the Wild. By the way, if you are enjoying this content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You really don't know how much it helps a smaller channel like mine, opens up a lot of opportunities to try new games and to be able to forge relationships with these publishers. Also, if you want, make sure you have notifications on. I am doing live streams of Switch games very frequently. In fact, this week I'll be doing a live stream of Elderond and Dust and Neon later on in the week. And I would absolutely love to have you join me. Moving on, we're gonna order the rest of the deals from cheapest to priciest. First, we have Jenny LeClue Detective Ooh. It is 92% off, only $1.99. Really great little sort of uh, point and click adventure. If you got kids that are into like graphic novels, this would be a really good transition into gaming for people who love that kind of stuff. Really well voice acted, just an absolutely beautiful art aesthetic. I'm not normally into point and click games, but I found this one to be really charming and definitely well worth two bucks. Dwarf Journey is hitting its lowest price ever. That is 75% off for only $1.99. This is a really underrated little simple action roguelike. Basically, you're taking a dwarf into this temple and you're making your way through level by level. Ultimately, you're collecting a lot of minerals, taking on bosses and baddies. It's real simple, straightforward. Definitely the kind of game that you could really enjoy while sitting and listening to a podcast or something like that. It's definitely not taxing on the abilities like other roguelikes. Just very simple, level up, loot, get a little bit farther every time. Necrosphere Deluxe is hitting its previous low price of 70% off for only $2.39. I'm going to pick this up on this sale. I've always heard really good things about this. This is a Metroidvania that is only played with two buttons. Yes, two buttons. Very bizarre. But from what I've seen, it almost looks like a Super Meat Boy kind of mix with a Metroidvania. Definitely has a really high difficulty level, but just like Super Meat Boy, it seems like you load in exactly where you die immediately, like within half a second. So, so despite the fact you're going to die a lot, you're always going to load in right where that death did happen. Definitely something for Metroidvania fans to try out who have tried it all. Just a real quick mention, I know I just mentioned the SteamWorld games as a whole, but SteamWorld Dig, the first one, is only $2.50, and if you need to dip your toes to the universe, starting here is a really solid option. If you like the idea of making your way down a mine, leveling up your gear, and getting farther and farther down, taking on some baddies, you definitely should try this at least one time. Riverbond is 90% off matching its previous low for only $2.49. This is a game that used to go on sale all the time, but now it's a pretty rare sale. This is a really simple up to four player sort of gauntlet hack and slash style game, but all in a very sort of neon Minecraft aesthetic. Now, I'm not going to oversell you on this game. It's really simple, straightforward, but this is a game that my son and I really enjoyed sitting together and play. Again, very simple, very easy for kids and adults to play together. 
Hyperparasite is 85% off for only $2.69. This is another one that I think I'm going to be picking up on this sale. I really like what I see. I definitely like trying out just as many roguelikes as I can. And yes, this is a roguelike where the cool gimmick of this is you actually play as a parasite and you are taking over different bodies that you can then take into battle. Has some pretty solid reviews from both the users and from the critics. So I think it's definitely worth trying out for only $2.69. Hybroxia 2 is hitting its lowest price ever, 70% off for only $2.99. The Hybroxia games are definitely a staple among shmups fanatics. Now that doesn't include me, I really don't like shmups at all, but if you are into that genre, it sounds like these are both stellar options. The first one is also on sale, but I've heard that Hybroxia 2 is definitely a big upgrade in pretty much every way. Ravenous Devils is 30% off for only $3.49. I got a chance to play this a long time ago. I really was shocked by how much I enjoyed it. This is basically a restaurant point and click management game, but the gimmick here is that you are serving people up. So if you like the idea of a restaurant management game mixed with cannibalism and a really sick twisted sense of humor, you would definitely enjoy Ravenous Devils. It's surprisingly addictive. Super Mambo Quest is hitting its lowest price ever, 75% off for only $3.99. I think I've mentioned this one before. This is really a, just a spastic, crazy platformer, but built into that big, over-interconnected Metroidvania-style world. It really just doesn't fit what you think of when you think of Metroidvania. So many of them are so dark and brooding, whereas this is really bright, colorful, cheerful. And if you need that kind of break, you need to play something that's very lighthearted, you would definitely enjoy Super Mambo Quest. Table of Tales, the Crooked Crown is hitting its lowest price ever, 80% off for only $3.99. Now this is a one player board game, strategy game, basically think like, like a single player Dungeons and Dragons, now this game actually is originally a VR game for either PC or the Quest. So I know for myself, I'm not picking it up on this sale because I would much rather play it on my Quest 2. But if you're not into VR and you like the idea of this little interactive Dungeons and Dragons tabletop game, you would definitely get a kick out of Table of Tales. All the reviews for the VR versions I've seen are pretty darn solid. I can only find maybe about one review for the Switch version. It was also really good. So, so take that as it will. It seems like this is a solid port. Moonlighter, the complete edition, is at its lowest price ever, 85% off for only $4.34. Now, the main base game is also on sale, but it's just matching its previous low, so this is really a better deal if you want to just jump in and grab the whole package. This is an amazing, I guess, a roguelike game. I don't, really, I don't always think of it as a roguelike game, but I guess it is. But basically, you're diving into these dungeons uh, where you are collecting loot and gear, and then you're setting up a store in this town, and you're selling that to the denizens of the town. Just a really great feedback loop, really great combat. If you love Legend of Zelda and you like roguelikes, this is kind of a nice little mashup that kind of feels a little bit like both. It's definitely a classic now on the Switch. Now, if you're yearning for a platformer that really feels like it came right out of the early 2000s, you could check out Effie. Effie is currently at its lowest price ever, only $4.99. You play as Galland, and he is a young man. He's on his quest to restore his youth after a witch has cursed him with premature old age. Very typical sort of 3D platformer, but it all takes place in a big open world, and you ride around your shield like it's a surfboard over the sky and the land. It controls really well, and it doesn't get mentioned a lot when talking about 3D platformers. I definitely think for five bucks, you would definitely get your money's worth. Moving on to a little more pricey, we have Crumble. It is hitting its lowest price ever, 50% off, bringing it down to $7.49. I haven't played this yet. I'm really tempted to pick it up on this sale. I might wait for it to get cheaper, but I love these sort of uh, physics-based momentum rolling games. But what I've really heard is that if you're a fan of the 3D Sonic games, in particular, the parts where you're just zipping forward and making your way through loops and whatnot, that you would really enjoy Crumble. Basically, you're a little rolling ball with a tongue that works as a grappling hook to swing from thing to thing, but it can be very fast paced and definitely a great game for speedrunners or people who just really want to master the mechanics. Blade of Darkness is 50% off $7.49. That is its lowest price ever. This is a fairly recent re-release. This is apparently like the actual OG Soulsborne style game. The original one coming out all the way, I believe, back in the year 2001. Apparently, there's just a rabid fan base that swears by this. I don't know how much is nostalgia, but if you love Souls-like games, it could be a little bit of an oddity to at least check it out and to see where that sort of genesis of this genre did begin. 
Children of Morta, the complete edition, is 70% off for $7.99. Now, just like Moonlighter, the base game is also on sale, but it's simply matching its previous low. This is, again, a new low for the complete edition, which includes all of the DLC. When it comes to a sort of gauntlet style roguelike, I don't know if I can think of one I like better than Children of Morta. Multiple great characters, all with their own unique skill trees, unique fighting styles, a super addictive roguelike gaming loop in this one. And a really engaging story with characters that you really feel connected to by the end. It's definitely a roguelike where if you are a fan of the genre, you gotta try it at least at one point. Derpy Conga is hitting its lowest price ever. That is 50% off, only $8.49. This is a game where I've only gotten to try the demo, but it was really strange and fun. Basically, it's a platformer where you join hands with other characters and you're actually controlling a really big group of characters all at once. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of unique sort of puzzle platforming mechanics that come into play with that. And you can actually bring in another real person to play up to two player co-op. Like I said, there's a demo, you definitely should try that first, but if you're looking for a really weird little unique platformer, you should definitely at least wishlist Derpy Conga. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is matching its previous low, 80% off for only $9.99. A really super competent Smash Bros clone, solidly reviewed, but it's only gotten more and more updates and it's definitely gotten a lot improved. Also from Nickelodeon, we have Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix. That is 75% off for only $9.99. That is matching its previous low price. This is a weird little instance where you can only recommend, I guess, the middle uh, entry into a series because the first game was terribly reviewed the most recent release the third one is terribly reviewed but for whatever reason the second one they actually got it right it's very low reviewed up to four player co-op even has online for up to eight people so if you're a sucker for car racers just like i am this is definitely a solid one to add to your collection Next, we have Iris Fall, which is hitting its lowest price ever, 50% off for only $9.99. Now, this is a really unique little puzzle solving game that uses a lot of mechanics of your shadow. Now, I know I just had a game, I'm gonna, I can't remember the title that actually used a similar mechanic, but this one, it's not just about uh, how you manipulate the shadow, there's all other kinds of different puzzles that you have to solve, but basically you can warp in and out of your shadow to, to sort of uh, set up the way that you're gonna uh, have to platform across something. But like I said, it does actually have a big variety of puzzles, so it doesn't just rely on that. It has a really striking black and white art aesthetic. I just love the way this looks on the Switch. I can imagine on the OLED, it would really pop and look amazing. Solidly reviewed from the critics and the user reviews, definitely worth checking out. Pode is matching its previous low for 50% off for $12.49. This is a game I've wanted to talk about it for a long time and I kept waiting and waiting to see if they drop to a new low and they just don't seem like they're ever gonna drop to a new low. So this is a really awesome little co-op puzzle game platformer. Uh, you play as the rock and this little guy who's like a little moving sun and there's all kinds of unique abilities that each character has and you are helping each other through platforming challenges. That's what you would expect from this sort of genre but very refined, has a really nice art aesthetic and like I said you can play with up to two player co-op but you can also play with one player. That's how I tried it. And really, it's still a lot of fun single player. You're just going to be switching back and forth uh, with a hotkey that goes back and forth between the characters. Like I said, they don't really seem intent on ever dropping at less than $12.50, so I guess this is as cheap as you're going to get at any time. Source of Madness is hitting its new lowest price ever, 35% off for only $12.99. If you love uh, roguelikes and you love creepy, super creepy Lovecraftian horror, you would definitely enjoy Source of Madness. I was shocked by how much I enjoyed this. I'm not really into the horror genre, but it was just so engrossing the environment. I just felt sucked into it. It actually auto generates the enemies out of all these sort of gelatinous parts. And they're just super disturbing looking to look at. Basically, you play as a wizard. I think he's actually called an acolyte, but there's all these different sort of generated acolytes that between each death that you'll choose from with base abilities. And of course, like on a roguelike, you will have permanent upgrades, but then also upgrades along each run. So if you like your roguelikes mixed with a little bit of horror, you'd probably like this one. Swordship is 30% off for only $13.99. That is its lowest price ever and its first ever sale. I got a chance to try this back a month or two ago. I was really shocked by how much I enjoyed it. 
This is such a unique roguelike. Basically, you play as a ship that is making shipments across this sort of apocalyptic landscape that is covered in water. And of course, you've got all kinds of baddies that are coming after you, but what's unique about this is you don't actually have any way to shoot the other baddies. Instead, you have to line them up so they basically end up attacking each other. So it's really high tension. You're doing a lot of bobbing and weaving and occasionally dipping down under the water to dodge them. Really unique, nothing else like it. I really enjoyed myself playing this one. And my goodness, did it run beautifully on the Switch. It definitely was hitting a solid 60 frames per second. Really gorgeous on the OLED. Definitely recommend this one. Little Nightmares 1 and 2 bundle, 70% off for only $14.99. I think most people probably know what the Little Nightmares games are. Very simply, they are horror platformers with some really creepy characters you're going to be interacting with. I've said before, if you're not really into the horror genre, this still might be a good way to dip your toes in. I'm not saying it's not scary, but there's something about the gameplay style that's kind of inviting. It's simple. It's just a basic uh, platformer mixed with some puzzle solving mechanics. But it's still going to creep you out. Just be sure of that. I'm really excited for this next deal. This is Kaiju Wars. It is hitting its first ever, so obviously its lowest price ever, 20% off, bringing it down to $15.99. I'm a massive, massive Godzilla and Kaiju film fan, and I love Advance Wars. So this is more or less sort of mashing those two together into just an amazing concoction. The game has a really lighthearted sort of B-movie sense of humor that is really easy to get into. Now to be clear, you are playing against the Kaiju as the humans, and you've got all kinds of different defense capabilities and strategies. It actually has a pretty steep learning curve, I will warn you of that. It does not hold your hand, but if you like strategy and you like Kaiju and Godzilla and King Kong and all that kind of stuff, you would be in heaven with this game. Another game with its first ever sale is Togs, 20% off, bringing it down to $15.99. I hesitated putting this game in this recommendation list, not because I didn't like it, but because I've played it, and even I don't even know exactly how to describe it. I guess it's a platformer, but basically you play as this Tog, and he is dropping cubes, and there's all these weird sort of platforming puzzle elements, and you collect up all kinds of cubes by vacuuming them up, and then you you have to place them to be able to move. It's so bizarre. I would definitely check out the past live stream I did of this so you can get a better idea of what it's like. And I do live stream new Switch games, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss those live streams. But one of those games you're gonna have to kind of watch it in motion and to really understand what it's about. Next, we have a title that is a mouthful, Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments plus Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter bundle. This is, of course, a bundle of two of these really popular Sherlock Holmes sort of semi-open world uh, investigative games. I know they're really popular with a certain kind of crowd. Not really my cup of tea, but it is hitting its lowest price ever, 60% off for only $19.99. From what I understand, again, for fans of the genre, they seem to really enjoy these games. Very well voice acted, very immersive if you are into the world of Sherlock. Another game that I'm really excited about that is having its first ever sale is Wavetail. 20% off, bringing it down to only $23.99. If you are a huge fan of Wind Waker and you want something that at least kind of scratches that itch, Wavetail is definitely the way to go. This is a big sort of slightly open world action adventure game where you're making your way across the ocean where there is this encroaching sort of uh, darkness that is taking over the world. But your character gains this ability to basically ski over the water. You're going from island to island to rid these islands of, of this infection of evil. It's really beautiful. It's absolutely a joy to just glide around on the water. The controls just feel amazing. The way you can, you can bound off the water and then dive back down to it and you're just slipping around. It's always difficult to sort of describe why a game is so great just because of the way it feels. But just trust me, this is a game that really feels great to play. Two Point Campus is hitting its lowest price ever, 30% off for only $27.99. Again, I'm not super into simulation games, but my goodness, this one is sitting at an 87 on Metacritic. It just seems like fans of the genre, this is exactly what you are looking for. Of course, it's a simulation game where you are making a college and the courses that they are teaching are completely absurd and silly. So it's not a serious simulation game, by any means. So if you like a simulation mixed with some comedy, I think you would really enjoy Two Point Campus. 
All right, this was a long deal video. I know we covered a lot of deals. If you appreciate it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. And until next time, Switch fans, I hope you have great gaming. Bye-bye.